Hey guys, what's going on? Back to you again, and this time I'm going to be doing another movie review, and I know it's been a minute since I've made a video, I just had a lot of stuff going on. I had my birthday last Monday, I turned 25, and it was a good birthday, and I've also been pretty busy with work, and haven't been able to um, post any videos at all, but uh... Yeah, so uh, today's uh, movie review is on a movie that I recently visited, r revisited, I should say, um, and last time I saw it was probably maybe a decade ago, maybe a little less than that, and that is Little Big Soldier with uh, Jackie Chan, uh, released in 2010, uh, directed by Ding Sheng, uh, who also directed uh, Police Story 2013, aka Police Story Lockdown is what it's called here in America. And also, uh, Railroad Tigers, I believe, is another one that he did. And, uh, uh I re recently revisited this, uh, with my mom. She hadn't seen it before, uh, yesterday. And, um, and uh, I wanted to watch it with her because I know that she likes Jackie Chan. I mean, I'm a bigger fan than she is, but she likes Jackie Chan's movies. And... So the basic plot line of this movie is basically about this uh, uh, soldier who survives the war by playing dead, and then he ends up uh, meeting a uh, a young general, and he basically uh, discovers that the general is from an enemy state, so he basically... Um, it takes him as a captive to basically uh, go on this uh, journey to return him so that he can get a reward. And on the way there, um, they get into a whole bunch of uh, trouble and shenanigans uh, as they're on their way uh, so that he can uh, drop off the... Uh, general and that's basically the movie and I really enjoy this movie I hadn't seen it in so long and while revisiting it recently I really enjoyed it and I picked this up a while ago and I was really pleased uh, of uh, revisiting it and my mom really liked it and I'm glad I picked this up on uh, DVD and Blu-ray, and this is put out by Well Go USA. They do a great job of releasing um, Asian movies. Uh, they released a couple of, uh, well, quite a few of Jackie Chan's movies, and uh, yeah, this one includes uh, both DVD and Blu-ray, as I said before, and I like this uh, uh, cover art. Um, I think it's really, really cool. And here's the side and the back. And it comes with uh, two discs. Uh, one's obviously Blu-ray and the other one's DVD. Um, and it's basically like a comedy action, like adventure. And it's like in ancient China time. And it was pretty cool to like... Um, see something different from Jackie's career, um, because this one, I mean, there are fight scenes, but this one doesn't have, you know, like, where he's doing all, like, the batshit crazy stunt scenes and everything, but he does have, uh, um, quite a bit of action, uh, going on in this movie, and the flight choreography is, uh, very, very well done, as always, and, uh, let's see, um, and it was written by Ding Shang, the director, also. And it's also uh, put out by Jackie and JJ Productions. And let's see. Uh, the Jackie Chan was the chief producer. And the original story is by Jackie. And Jackie's the action director. And he's also an executive producer for it. And... This movie went uh, through de development hell for a very long time. I remember reading that a while back. And originally, like, uh, Jackie's wife um, said that, you know, his son JC be in the movie, but Jackie was against that for some reason. Um, but... Yeah, th this movie, I, I think, uh, is very well made. It's, it has a lot of uh, great action sequences. It's very funny also. Like, there's, like, um, you know, quite a bit of humor in the movie. And, you know, 
I like the how, like, at first, like, the general and the the soldier, like, at first, they, they absolutely, like, don't really like each other at all that much, but then, as time progresses, you know, they become, you know, close friends, and I like that, uh, because it reminds you of, like, um, Shanghai Noon and, Sh and Rush Hour, like, those type of movies where, like, Jackie and another guy, um, at first they're not really, um, too fond of each other at first, but as time goes on, they end up becoming friends and stuff like that, so, I like the how it kind of brings that formula into it, and, uh, this one gets a 6.9 out of 10 on IMDb, I think it should be, like, at least a 7, uh, because this is definitely one of his better movies, and, I mean, it's not, like, I wouldn't put it as, like, my top ten favorite Jackie Chan movies, but I think it's a very underrated movie, in my honest opinion, and I know some people might not be too big on it because of it, um, uh, not being what a lot of people are used to seeing Jackie Chan do, but, um, it's nice to see him do something different, and like I've said before, and a lot of you already know this already, that Jackie Chan has, has been through so many uh, bad accidents while shooting movies and stuff like that, so it's good to see him do something different with, uh, his career, like, this one in Shinjuku Incident, The Foreigner, Crime Story, I mean, like, those, like, th th those are the type of movies that, you know, where he really, you know, goes out of his comfort zone and, you know, mainly focuses on the acting and, you know, like, cause, like, let's be honest, like, a lot of you guys out there, you know, you don't see many Jackie movies for, you know, like, the, you know, great storytelling or his acting, like, you're just, you know, uh, waiting for, like, the badass stunt sequences and the fight scenes and, you know, him beating up all the bad guys and stuff like that, so... And Jackie himself wants to, like, he wants to see other people seeing him as an actor and not just, you know, um, a person, you know, beating up all the bad guys or whatever. But regardless, he still does that in this movie. Uh, but, you know, it's just like a different, you know, take on his career. And, you know, I think it's uh, very well written. And I think um, this one is actually... Um, I uh, like based on real things, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I, th I think it might be, or maybe loosely based. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So don't quote me on that, but yeah. Um, yeah, the other actors in this movie are great. You have some of Jackie's friends in here. You got Ken Lowe, um, who he's usually always like one of the bad guys. He's a bad guy in this movie. Um, you got um, Rong Wong Yu. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry if I butchered the name. But he's in here for a little bit. Uh, you might remember him. He was the... Uh, um, the Bad Sensei Master Lee in the Karate Kid remake with Jackie Chan as Mr. Han. Um, but he's in there. And he's also been in a couple of those other movies too, like um, The Myth, uh, New Police Story, Police Story Lockdown. And I think um, it might have been a couple more maybe after that. I can't remember. It's been, it's been a while since I've seen um, a movie with him in it, uh, well, I mean, th this one he, he is in, but he's not in it very much, um, but the other actors do a great job, um, uh, Steve Yu, um, and, uh, what's his name, uh, Wong Lee -Li Hom, I think it's how you pronounce his name, he's the, uh, general, and he does a very good job in this movie, and, Let's see, the other people uh, that are in this do a really great job, too. Like, I'll probably end up butchering their names, so I'm probably not even going to bother um, saying their names. But uh, this is a good release. It is really, it is available to get on just Blu-ray itself, but I recommend getting the Blu-ray DVD combo, as I did. I got this off of Amazon uh, last month, and 
This one was one I actually never owned until recently. I know it sounds crazy, but I just never got around to it. There's a, quite a few more titles in Jackie that I need, to, I need to pick up. Like, I need to pick up Kung Fu Yoga, even though that's not one of my all-time favorites. I still enjoy it, but uh, I'm going to have to pick that up at some point. Railroad Tigers, I'll have to pick out. That's another good one. Um, and Ride On, which I have seen, but I don't own it yet. But I will definitely do a review on that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. And this one has some good features. You got trailers, uh, Jackie Chan music video. He sings the theme song of this movie. And you have Making Of, and you have the English dub, which the English dub, I didn't watch the English dub. Actually, um, I just uh, skimmed through it on Peacock because this is available to watch on Peacock. Uh, if you want to watch it, but be aware it's only the English dub version, and the English dub is atrocious, in my honest opinion. It's not Jackie's voice or anything like that. So if you're, if you're hoping it's Jackie Chan's voice, you're going to be in for a disappointment because it's not his voice. Um, but yeah, the original language, uh, Mandarin and English uh, subtitles, uh, I much prefer if it's not his voice. I mean, like, I'll watch it if it's his if it's his real voice doing the English dub, but really, I watch, I really were, I really, uh, rarely watch, uh, his movies dubbed, um, if I do, it's only if it's his voice, or, like, if somebody else doesn't care if it's not his voice, then I'll watch it, but, you know, for my personal sake, like, I, I just don't watch it, uh, in the, uh, English dubbed version, uh, I like, I usually prefer watching it in their original dialect language, and, you know, I had a lot of fun revisiting this, um, also great scenery, I know some people might say, well, you know, it has some, you know, um, a lot of green screen, blah, 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 but that doesn't bother me, because it's only a movie, and, you know, there's a great, like, uh, um, you know, intense fight sequences that are, like, a little different from Jackie Chan's movies, because, like, he's not about, you know, being brutal and stuff like that, but this one has some pretty intense, you know, fight sequences, like, you actually have people really getting killed and, and stuff like that, and it's pretty intense. It's also, like, a little sad, too, um, at the end of the movie. I'm not gonna say why, but if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I just don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but, um... If you're a Jackie Chan fan, I recommend picking this up or giving it a watch. Uh, I think it might also be available on Amazon Prime to watch for free. Um, but if you have Amazon Prime or Peacock, this one is on there. I think it's on Amazon Prime, but um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm pretty sure it is. And you can get this for pretty cheap nowadays. It's been out for a while, 2010, so, you know, it's obviously been a minute. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I can't recommend this movie enough. Uh, I really enjoy it a lot. And um, Jackie is a very good actor. Um, you know, he's a great martial artist. Uh, and, you know, I just I just love, love his movies. And also for my birthday, I had a Jackie Chan Adventures cake. So that's uh, pretty cool. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's devint.russell. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's Devin T. Russell, um, on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll see the picture of that cake as I posted that, so if you want to see what it looks like, go ahead and check that out, and, um, yeah, I just, uh, I just love Jackie Chan, and this movie is amazing, and it says on the front from Twitch Films, Jackie Chan's best film in years, um, it's definitely, um, one of his best movies, but not, like, his absolute best, if that makes sense. But I still enjoy it regardless. And, um, you should definitely check it out. So, that is it for my review for Little Big Soldier. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the movie. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I highly recommend you go see it if you're a Jackie Chan fan. Even if you don't like the movie, like... I still think everybody should see it at least once, you know, if you're a Jackie Chan fan, I think everybody needs to see it at some point, um, and even if you don't like it, that's fine, um, you know, I can see why some people might not like it, but, I mean, we're all different, so, I mean, I personally don't mind if other people don't like it, but I personally like it very much, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video, take care.